Anyway, about a year or so ago, we did a video about living with a compost toilet. And we've just started planting some trees, some fruit trees. So we decided it's about time. Well, it's actually coming up to two years since we started the humanure compost. So we're going to uncover it and see what it's like after, after it's been in there all that time. We started filling it in the August when we got here, didn't we? Or maybe it was no. Now the first one was September, yeah. September. We filled it for a year, then we sealed, which was this one here. We sealed it off, and then we started filling the end one. So that's now been filled for ten months, mm -hmm. nine months, ten months. So this one's been in here for almost two years now, and we need some compost. So we thought we'd. See what it looks like. Is that another potato in there? So yeah, potatoes seem to grow because we threw, threw some food scraps in into this compost as well as all of our toilet waste. And uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, there is no smell here whatsoever. So it's got a fairly wet. We've got this cover on it, which has blown off numerous times, and we've had a huge amount of rain and. This is what it looks like. This stuff on the top, the really dry stuff, that's a that's just hay that we put on top just to seal it off. When you dig down, it's all really nicely broken down. But it's very it's very much uh, wood shavings. Smells of smells of a forest floor. You know what animals do on forest floors, don't <laughs> we? <laughs> Didn't think that one through. Anyway, look, going to look at that. There's no sign of any there's no clue that this is started off as wood shavings and human waste. It's just it's all broken down. And it really absolutely just smells like compost. <sighs> <laughs> this is actually making me feel really quite satisfied. You know? Oh really? Mm -hmm. Just think we did this. <laughs> Indeed. But you know, we yeah, you know, we haven't we haven't so dug had... a great big hole and put a septic tank yeah, in and all that, all that work, all that money, all of that. Because, you know, septic tank, you've still got to have it cleared. You've still got to have it emptied out. You've still got to go somewhere. So you're not getting rid of the problem. You're not getting rid of the waste. You're just moving it. Whereas we've taken our waste and turned it into this. Which is now going to go and feed our fruit trees. Look at that. And at the bottom, it's a bit more compressed. Because obviously it's been under the There's weight. There's loads of it. Oh, well, this is five foot. It's about 1.2, 1.5 metres by mm. 1.5. So what's one and a half, one and a half? 2.25. It's about a metre deep, I guess. So there's... there's no, nah, that's not a metre. Over two... Well, there's two cubic metres of compost mm. there. It's a lot of compost. And we're right to the bottom now. Look at that. Uh, lovely, crumbly compost. So we've uh, taken our waste and turned it into a useful product. And all we've had to do to do that is bring the buckets out here, empty them in, cover them up, wash the buckets, do it all again. It probably takes us about an hour every... Six weeks? Yeah. No, no, that's not true. Because we normally, if there's just two of us here, we normally fill a 25 litre bucket in about five days, don't we? So that's six buckets a week, and we quite often don't do it until there's 12 buckets. Six buckets a week? Uh, six, six buckets a... Uh, month. A month, yeah. Six fives is 30 days. And we... We, uh, we generally do it. I think the most we, we ever had was about 15 buckets, isn't it? Yeah. We've got 20 buckets, so we kind of went close to the... Well, we have used a couple of buckets. So, in other words, we probably only do it every two months. So yeah. six times a year. Yeah, for an hour. For an hour. Six hours a year. I mean, it would have taken longer than that just to dig a hole and put a septic tank in. And this has, this has just cost us scrap wood like this. And um, So uh, there will be a link 
a link in the description of this video to our first video about how we set this all up and I'm glad to say it's been helpful to quite a few people who've let us know about that. Uh, in so, fact we got a comment the other day didn't we asking yes. about where we got the buckets from yeah, so which was H&O H&O plastics, plastics. Yeah, and they've really, been fab really good buckets yeah. really good they've got great closures they don't stain they're no. great so we're going to load some of this up now and take it over and uh, we'll show you our new fruit trees on the edge of the meadow just got to show Ray just for a second yeah, who's forever helpful <laughs> Ray will be a year old on the 15th of June and he's very soon, and he's going to be gathering that day. We're off on a marking gather, getting all the sheep in off the hill at Ballantyre. That's going to be fun. Right, let's get loaded up. It would make sense to do this with a wheelbarrow, but we didn't have a lot of success with our wheelbarrow, this did is we? The, uh, puncture capital of Argyle. <laughs> so the wheelbarrow has a puncture. Look at that. Lovely stuff. It'd be really inter it'd be really an, an interesting experiment to plant some seeds in this. Just see how it do you not think it might be a bit rich for potting cobs? I've no idea. That's why it'd be an experiment. But it would be interesting to see how, because we've we've had varying degrees of success with, especially this year, with our seeds, and uh, we've used several different types of compost. And I wonder whether, partly it's been the weather, which has been completely different this spring to last spring, and. Um, also, it could be partly to do with the compost. So, it'd just be an interesting experiment to plant some seeds in this and see what happens. The other thing about this is it's really nice to move. Some compost is a bit heavy, especially, especially our own, you know, the stuff we're making normally. It's uh, not as crumbly as this. Probably, well, we've got, we've got three trees to do, haven't we? And we're going to go buy two more, aren't we? That is the plan. There'll be three addicts. When will those potatoes be able to come up? I don't know. We don't know what variety they are. <laughs> they might be. Uh, they might be co-op. Are they just? Yeah. <laughs> they probably are. So, in recent weeks, we've completely fenced off our meadow. We've stopped fencing so that we can. Uh, move the sheep about easy and control them and do what we need to do with them and train Ray and all those things. So because we now have a boundary around the meadow, we've decided to plant that whole boundary with fruit trees and nut trees. And it's just like we're putting our own our own character on the on the land here. You know, we came here and it was there was leftovers of other times and other people. And it hadn't been, hasn't been lived in for, you know, Ladyfield hasn't been lived in for full time for quite a number of years. So it was, it was all a little bit lost, wasn't it really? There's nothing. It's really, nice to add to. No signature what, to it. Yeah. So we, yeah, we've added, we haven't changed anything. We just added to what was here. So the fruit trees is a great one. Right. Glorious day today. So there's the there's the barn up there in the polytunnels, and this is this is the uh, edge of the meadow I'm talking about, and this is the area we want to plant with trees. And so this is where we've started with these three. So we've got a Victoria plum, uh, a cherry. It's not going to be a fruit and cherry. It's just to look nice. And then there's a an apple tree up there. I can't remember what kind of apple it is. Do you remember what it is? Uh, is it a pippin? Mm. Anyway, it was uh, it was a gift from work, wasn't it? Because Lindsay's changed jobs recently, and 
It's a, a Coxie's Pippin. So we just dug holes um, and dropped dropped the uh, the whole root ball into the hole. We haven't messed around with the root ball at all. We just put it in as it is, which is uh, as recommended by Charles Dowling, who is our gardening guru. And uh, so what we're going to do now is just going to top up the top up that hole to the level of the grass with some compost, and then we're going to cut a cardboard disc out. I don't know how far, maybe three foot diameter, something like that, three to four foot diameter. And we'll lay that down and that will go on top of the grass and we'll put compost on top of that. So that will kill the grass off in that area and the compost will slowly break down and feed the soil around it. That way the grass isn't competing with the tree for moisture, that's one thing. Uh, plus the compost helps retain moisture when it rains anyway. So they, they, should, uh, they should do well hopefully on here. Oh, and we're going to put some flowers around the bottom in that in that compost. So, should look really pretty along here. I think we will carry on. We'll carry on up to those two big posts here, if you can see them. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> there we go. Um, excuse me. There, that's going to be the main entrance into the meadow. So, we'll have to stop short of them because I want the gates to be able to open freely in both directions. Um, but yeah, we'll carry on up to there and maybe maybe down as far as well I guess a bit narrow along there towards where that telegraph pole is But we might be able to get one on the corner by the telegraph pole and a couple on the way So yeah, this will be Yeah, all these these trees so far all the ones we bought have all been bought with the money that we've made from growing salad <laughs> so, so we're kind of working on this whole well, we're not. We haven't set out to do it, but it seems that what we are doing is um, we're closing the loops on things. So we eat the food we grow. We then go to the toilet. We put the uh, compost material into the compost bays from the toilets, and as you see, we then use the compost to help grow some food to eat and <laughs> repeat. So it feels like a really good good way of doing things. Anyway, I'm going to get on and fill this in and cut cardboard and such like and uh, see how it goes. Yeah, we'll get two out of this. Do you want this? 
Uh, yeah, we'll leave it here, please. Probably only need one more like this, don't we? All right. Three or four buckets and that would be lovely, wouldn't it? It's, it's very light. I wonder... We don't need to put extra on just because of the lightness, do we? No, that will settle down. I keep, think, I, I keep feeling really compelled to... <laughs> <my hands. laughs> Which is both weird and... Yes, Raymond. Off you go. It takes a little bit Off of you go. Mindset. Hey? It does take a bit of a mindset. To does it? Hand. I, for me it is, yeah. Just initially. What, like nursery mode? Uh, or just human no, mode? No, not really. Because honestly, that's, but you know, just, I, we've emptied this. I know exactly what this was. <laughs> yeah. And so... Do you want to move around and do that from the other side? Because you're kind of in shadow and you can't actually see what you're doing. That's better. Yeah, so just, just, to, just to have your hands in it, it's like, oh God, am I going to come across a bit of poo? Or... But you're not, are you? It's oh, all no. It's all gone. It's like you pick up lumps like this and you think, oof, but actually look, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. This is proper public service YouTube stuff we're doing here, isn't it? <laughs> to do it. She's doing it again. It just does. <laughs> it's like that Spinal Tap album, <laughs> Sniff the Glove. <laughs> do you want me to put another yeah, you bucket could, on? Yeah, definitely. i tell you what, there is some, this is tissue, isn't it? No. No? No, no tissue will be the first thing that broke down. Really? No, that will be just bits of the wood fibres. <laughs> No, tissue would disappear real quick, wouldn't it? Well, of course, there's also the, uh, the hay in there as well. Yeah, there's hay that we've covered it up with. Am I going... Yeah, I'd push it right to the edges, yeah. You want another bucket full yet, I reckon, as well. It feels so lovely that you haven't had to buy this compost. <laughs> yeah, just push it out to the edges and uh, like that, and that'll all that'll shrink back down anyway, I'm sure. I'll get another bucket. Yep. Look at that. In all its glory. Oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> In so many ways. Are there flowers?
flower seeds still in the little poly tunnel? I think so, yeah. Well, that's one done. Two to go. She's doing it again. <laughs> So there you go. You can be uh, excused for thinking that compost toilets are a, a problem or even a solution to a problem, which is what it was for us. You know, living in a caravan, no main sewer, no mains water. Um, we're not fully off grid because we've got electric here, but you know, kind of off grid. And it was uh, a compost toilet for us was a solution to a problem. It meant that we didn't have to worry about getting a septic tank and all of that stuff. But what you can forget about is that there's a real benefit to it as well. And this is, uh, if you'll pardon the pun, the fruits of our labour really, because all of this compost is now going to feed our fruit trees. So compost toilets aren't just an answer to a problem, they're a really good and useful thing to do. Because you get, you get a harvest <laughs> from them. Thing is that we've been really fortunate that our cup material has been completely free. It yeah. actually lasted two years, hasn't it? Yeah, Remember? we went we went and got a trailer load of uh, wood shavings from a sawmill in Kilfinnan. Kilfinnan. Rob. And uh, and Rob who has since then become a good friend and I work with him quite regularly. And yeah, so we bought a trailer load of wood chips back. Which was his way. Well they're wood shavings. Yeah, wood shavings. Uh, stuff that was in the way out the wood yard because it, it was planings. It's planings that have come off of timber that's gone through the uh, planer, and we've used that. And we've still got. I reckon we've still got a couple of months left, maybe. Yeah. And we've been using that for two years now. And will you be able to get some more? From yeah, because it's such a waste product. And uh, anyway, we're taking it from being a waste product, turn it into something very useful. And there you go. Benefits of a compost toilet.